although how to hook up your home theater may feel very quickly outdated given that this was only released in 2007 i still think it's a lot of fun and i really thoroughly enjoyed it i wish they did more goofy how-to videos back in the day they used to do quite a lot of them there is quite a quite a, a nice selection of them but we don't have too many from this century but the ones that we do have i think are very well done this was released in 2007 directed by stevie warmers and kevin daters and we have Corey Burton narrating with Bill Farmer voicing Goofy. And as the title suggests, Goofy is trying to set up his home theatre and there's a sporting event he wants to watch. So it takes us through the whole process of him choosing what elements he wants for his home theatre and then him waiting for it to arrive. And then the many, many problems he has with setting it up. And I won't spoil it by giving away too much of the intricacies because it is only about five minutes. But the one bit that I loved the most was when Goofy was tasked with plugging everything in and it just it, there was just this very kind of dry toned line that I found very funny about the fact that to plug it in you're gonna have to go to the back of it and of course if you've set up all of your equipment in a you know a home theatre and you've got it all nicely organised in a unit how are you supposed to easily get to the back of it when it's against a wall it just amused me so much that it's a weird problem that even today, even though home theatres of this kind, we're not talking, you know, wall-to-wall -wall speakers and floor-to-ceiling screens. It is a case of a TV with, um, you know, some frills. Even though they're maybe not as abundant now with, you know, people watching things on smaller devices, they never really seem to solve a problem. And the same with computers as well with hard drives they never really seemed to find a way around the fact that everything had to be plugged in the back and that made it exceptionally difficult to actually do it's just a problem that was never solved but then i guess maybe you could argue that the problem was solved by making everything smart or laptops um, or smaller devices that are a lot more portable obviously it's not completely outdated home theaters are still a big thing but i feel like this representation of what a home theater looks like doesn't really gel with today. Although I still think the amount of remote controls is true. The increasing smart technology means that I do have more remote controls than I've ever had before. My vacuum cleaner has a remote control. My air conditioning unit has a remote control. And I definitely have lost at least a couple of them. How to hook up your home theatre is something that I think pretty much everybody will be able to relate to in one way or another. I think it's very well animated, the narration is great, as I said, the kind of dry humour a lot of the time, um, very eye-rolling worthy. Um, I really enjoyed it, really thoroughly had a lot of fun with it. I think the contemporary goofy how-tos are just a bit more fun and I guess that's because for me they're largely a lot more relatable. They're usually, they usually are a commentary on modern life. Uh, which of course was the case back in the day, but that was modern life back then. Some of them still apply, some of them definitely not so much. But How to Hook Up Your Own Theatre is definitely worth watching if you're a fan of the original goofy how-tos or if you just like a fun animation that you will be able to relate to. It's definitely worth watching.